this week's been a lot of talking about what's going to happen while I'm not here. And it feels really, really strange to be giving away, you know, this baby that I've crafted for the last four years and have other people be in charge of like a big piece of it. You know what I mean? I think a lot of it's just like the letting go feeling of it. You know, I'm excited that I have a lot of really good people here that are gonna be able to help out. You know, Steve, who works a lot with a lot of the Super Cheap TV content. Really good dude, super smart and like really good at what he does. He's been working on the whole docu-series stuff, which you guys will see soon. It's like pretty much a step inside of what happens in everybody's day-to-day -day life here at Super Cheap. So many crazy personalities, so many awesome people. Then, you know, Max is gonna help out with a whole bunch of the writing and organization. Kuji's gonna be coming back from season one, which I'm super amped on. He's gonna help out with a bunch of the editing. You know, Pat's gonna help out with some of the organization stuff and all of that. I'm leaving, but I know that I have a good team who's gonna be able to be here to make sure that all the content continues to go. Uh, so I'm Steven. Uh, I've been working here for a while, but I haven't really been in the blog posts. You might have seen me in uh, one or two candid scenes. Hell yeah. Uh, but I'm going to be around a lot more now that Ricky's leaving. And then I'm really excited to be able to start doing new content uh, while we're on the road. And like kind of like what I was saying before, being able to showcase what tour life is like. You know, people think of it, you know, how glamorous and parts of it is. But it's, it's definitely very tough to be, you know, away from your home, different environment, different sleeping environment, having to eat when you don't know and all of that. I mean, I, the other thing on the horizon for me, which is like kind of super random, but whatever, is, you know, I was living in a place off of Morgan. I had a super come up. I was paying like $350 in rent. Uh, which really helped considering everything going on in the studio. Literally, I work, I'm a crazy person, I'm insane, literally insane. I work like 18 hour days uh, and I'm only home to sleep. So now I'm gonna be moving into a place a little bit close to the studio, which is super rad. I'm going to be moving in with uh, all the members of my band. So we'll be able to practice on music a whole bunch more when I have the downtime. We're gonna set up a whole basement floor just jam session, DJ equipment, synths, interfaces, keyboards, guitars, basses, drums, all that stuff. And then also on the music tip, I'm super amped because um, Steve's gonna take the reins on Tune from EPK and being able to you know, showcase a bunch of amazing musicians here. We're gonna be doing live performances, but with art happening in the background. That art has so many different meanings and you guys are just gonna have to tune in and check it out. I shot my first interview, oh, it went great. There's a there's a beer in the freezer. Do you think I can get that? Uh, all right. This is good cuz we have like a PBR thing going on right now. So All right. Oh yeah. Woo, right? Just like, you know, uh, you know, uh, I'm a musician. I'm from Brooklyn. This is all about me. So we still don't. We don't have a home. Oh, actually, I was gonna ask. Eh, it's probably too late. Hey, we're at Super Chief right now with Death by Audio Arcade. So maybe it's just the heat, but I'm feeling a little salty towards Movie Pass. They've been really helpful with us throughout Movie Club. And they got us to see you know, the hot new movies. I've had this for about two years. And then, you know, for what? They're breaking my heart. Now I'm gonna burn my bra. So this week, we're redoing the whole studio. We're unplugging all the machines, moving all the equipment, all the desks, so that we can redo the floors. And uh, we're gonna have a brand new studio when we're done. It's gonna be great. This is way below my pay grade. I don't know if I can take much more of this today. Like we got all of these like super chief interns just 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 scraping the bottom of the floor. We're breathing it all in. It's getting in all our food. Gotten Kuji's lunch. It got in my sandwich. <coughs> Ricky's letting this go way too far. Like I know we got to remodel and everything, but. I mean, at what cost? Like, it's getting in all our food, we're breathing it all in. It's getting, it's, I'm just... <coughs> it's gonna be awesome. The 
hell are you doing? It's some good stuff, actually. Actually, you're right. Right now, we have Troma. If you don't know Troma, go look them up. They're legendary in the horror and gore genre. Uh, we have them right now. They're filming right outside this door. Let's take a look. I feel like, again, like I say this every time, you have to continuously evolve with all of your content, with everything you do, no matter what it is. This is the end of season two in Super Sheet, I guess technically season four. And, you know, I'm excited to see what these new people bring in, what the tour will have in store and all of that. I hope you guys stay tuned in. Shoot me a message, you know what I mean? Shoot a, shoot a comment in the bottom. You guys have any questions or anything that you personally want to see i appreciate like all the growth that we've got from this season being able to hit a thousand subscribers all you people watching and commenting and liking on all of our stuff uh love y'all